attempting the procedures described in this video series, you will need to install the Cloud Pack for Integration on your OpenShift cluster and configure the Platform Navigator. This video quickly walks you through those steps so that you can follow along in the subsequent videos. First, you need to install the Cloud Pack for Integration operator. Simply add these two YAMLs from the documentation to your cluster configuration. And by the way, if you want more detailed instructions on this process, Mark has a great video. Go to ibm.biz slash install dash cp for i. Next, let's create a project named cp for i where we will install everything. In order to install everything, you'll need your IBM Entitled Registry Key, available from the IBM Container Library, and we'll add that to our project as a pull secret. Edit the definition and insert your registry key. Change the namespace to our project CP4I. Then you can just log into your cluster from the command line and run the command. By now, your operator should be installed, and we can install the Cloud Pack for integration in our CP4I project. From Operator Hub, search for Cloud Pack for integration. Click Install, select the CP4I namespace, and click Install. This will take a few minutes to complete. When it is finished, you can see the operators are now available in the CP4I project. Next, we install the Platform Navigator. This is the UI where you can access all the Cloud Pack for Integration runtimes and capabilities from one place. Click Create Instance. Accept the license and then select the Read Write Many Storage class from your cluster that you want to use. This is going to take a little while, so go grab a coffee. When it is finished, the status becomes ready and you can log into the provided Platform Navigator URL. You need to accept the self-signed certificate. Select IBM Authentication to log in with the admin user ID. The password is available in a secret in the IBM-Common-Services project. Look under Workloads, Secrets, then filter on IDP, and open the secret named Platform-Auth-IDP-Credentials. Copy the value of the admin password and log in. Now we are going to use the Platform Navigator to install API Connect and Application Connect Enterprise. Starting with API Connect, click the menu, Administration, Integration Capabilities, then click Create Capability. Click API Management and select a configuration option. One node minimum is sufficient for these videos. Accept the license and then choose the license ID. LRJON-BXWP45 is the current license for these purposes. You also need to select a Read Write Once block storage class for API Connect. Then click Create. While that is running, we can install Application Connect Enterprise. Click Create Capability and then Integration Dashboard. Choose the Quick Start option. Accept the license and then select a Read Write Many storage class then click Create. When both capabilities are successfully installed, their status changes to Ready. Notice that API Connect actually has two links listed. The first one is for API development and the second for administration. So there you have it. All the products needed to continue with the rest of the videos in this series are now installed. Thanks for watching.